did pick up. There we are. Good morning, everybody. I'm Ed Parco We're with Mike Kelly, and we are Real Estate Jerky Daily. A little late today just because we were bullshitting. Yeah, we were. We did. It was fun, too. Yeah. Just Who talking did? about all the deals we have going on. Yep. And the uh, ACs. Yeah. So <laughs> if you guys know a great AC company, somebody you can recommend that you say is amazing, please put in the comments, send us the information. We're looking for one. Yep. Because uh, yep. the ones we, we know are okay, but some of them are just not calling us back. And I understand they're probably really busy right now. Extremely busy because... Never too busy to call somebody back and say, uh, hey, I can get you on the schedule next week. I can get you on the schedule in two months. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do we got over here? We got a lot of... No, there's not much out today. Is so, that from uh, uh, Inner Edison or something? No. no. Um, so it said, uh, today was retail sales, a National Association of Housing Building Housing Market. I haven't seen that number yet. I'll find that while we're talking. Uh, retail sales came out. It was unchanged for June. It was in line with expectations. However, if you strip out autos and gas and all the expensive things, it actually increased by 8%. <laughs> what <laughs> which was higher than the two percent expect yeah so if you take all the core stuff that's really expensive it actually went up but it's still overall it was in line gotcha cash freight which is in contrast to the retail sales report we saw the a weak cash freight june release goods need to be shipped across the u.s to be sold and the shipments components of cash freight report fell 1.8 percent in june to a four-year low this shows less e economic activity and a slowing economy didn't you talk about dr lacy hunt yesterday or no somebody? oh i thought okay well dr lacy hunt came out and he he which I didn't know. I would just, you know, I'm his sorry. His first name is Lacey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is yeah. he French? No, I don't know. He's a boy named Sue. Okay. Yeah. Um, believes the economy is slowing. And he came out with a report yesterday and said that the economic deterioration and constrictive money, a monetary and fiscal factors point to a weaker economy, uh, less inflation and lower treasury bond yields. And, you know, we kind of agree. I That's what I see also. Yeah, I talked. I think I talked about Edith Boone or something like that. Somebody, Fox, I, I thought for sure. She said, "Now's yeah. the time to buy." Yeah, well, we still all believe that. Yeah. Um, how came out and talked about? They're just focusing on getting to two percent. <laughs> That's all they care about. Yeah, I I read that this morning that That's they were their, probably going to do a rate cut. Um, only if they get where they need to get to two percent. Right. That's all they care about. Exactly. Yeah. All Con right. Do consumers need education? Stop reading my thing at a time. <laughs> what was I? N-H-A-B. Let's see if that came out yet. Uh, all right. And we talk about we talked about the inventory yesterday, right? Yeah, that it's down. Yeah. Yeah. 1,120 units. Well, you know, what are you going to do? It's I don't down. know. All right. Uh, and, oh, that's why I can't find it. N-A-H-B. Did you do NHAB? Yeah, I did it opposite. Nahab. Nahab. Um, came in at 42 versus 43 estimate of the, pro and, say, and 43 was the prior month, but they it came in at 42. What Man. does that mean? Single family homes, sales and new home sales. That just means it's not happening as well as they think. It, and the builders think, hey, um, now is not the time to start building more. Yeah. Yeah. And they won't build until that number gets above 50. And, and when it keeps going down, that means they're not going to be building. They're not going to be building. Yeah. And boy, we need them to build a lot. A lot. And that's how we're going to get out of this inventory issue. Can't be life events. What's a life event? Uh, any, uh, death. death. Um, marriage. Big job move. Divorce. <laughs> marriage. marriage. Yeah. Um, downsizing. You're just so negative. I, just, I was being positive. <laughs> I say, well, we both said death at the same time. That's pretty, I said marriage. Yeah, yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You win. All right. No, I try. You know, right, I, you know, ahead. consumers at saying consumers out there need education. Uh, the latest Fannie Mae study showed that most consumers don't know how much money they need for a down payment. Really? Yeah. Why? Because they just, we're not getting that information to them or they're just not looking for it i, I would think i guess not high school and certain people don't you know they don't know anything they need to have classes in high school how to do a checkbook how to do this how to do that you know how to buy a home it's very important most consumers uh, as a whole only 10 percent know how know you can buy with five percent down only 10 percent of the people looking know that consumer wise really yep so that's only one in seven or 14 percent uh -huh. know you can buy a home with five percent or, or less or less well, we need to do better of educating our youth. Our youth. Our youths. Our youth. Um, 
that's all I have for today. Bye. Okay. No, I got, so if you live in the Sacramento County area, um, guess what? What? The governor has been pushing this ADU stuff for, oh, I for very, very that. hard. And you can qualify for free plans for independent living facilities. Um, for free, for free, for free, for free What in the Sacramento County area. You can just go to this website and you can download some free plans, I guess. Oh. Um, I thought that was kind of cool oh, plans for free plans for free, not yeah. the house for free. I was like, wow, you can get, get your money for, for nothing and your chicks for free. But All right. That's a definitely eighties song. It's working. Uh, who is that? Um, money for dire straits. Nothing. Yeah. All right. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Oh, Biden, big thing. Um, we talked about it a little bit last week, but Biden's push for housing is to make uh, rent rents only max 5% a year for commercial, you know, people who have commercial properties that have like apartment complexes, right. multifamily, max 5% a year, max income. And if you go more than that, you lose all your tax breaks. Really? That's, yes. So what do you think they're going to do? Wanna, uh, Raise five percent a year well yeah. well they do that more right i mean he I, we talked about last year i mean last, last week it seems like last year uh that the five percent is what he's saying he's going to get it to cap at but since he's been in office it went up 22 percent. <laughs> so how can you cap something that you caused to go up so much and inflation is not going to go down it's just this two percent they're trying to get to is that's how much more we're adding each time to inflation is two percent right not Neg in order to go back to where we were, we have to have deflationary periods. That means opposite. Right. That's yeah. going to be an interesting thing. I don't think. Uh, when's the last time we had a deflationary period? I want to say maybe Reagan. Mm. When Carter had to leave office. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that kind of struck me funny. It is funny. Bye bye. Perfect. You gotta leave. What? I can't just stay. No. Bye bye. You're out of here. And you know, this weekend we could have had no presidents left. You know, they could have kicked Biden out, and Trump could have been gone if he didn't move his head. So think about that. If they kick Biden out, wouldn't that nasty person be there? But that's not automatic. I mean, that's no current incumbent and no ex-incumbent would have been around yeah. that is just something to think about and um, that's scary as hell now, uh, my biggest problem right now and this is the only political thing i they're supposed to be uniting us and uh somebody came out on sunday not saturday but sunday and said in the evening that we he that we should not unite and stop the rhetoric but then on his interview on with uh the, on cbs or 60 whatever it was he was interviewed on biden oh an yeah, abc yeah yeah and he said lester holt uh he said that oh a uh, target uh, uh i i said crosshairs <laughs> what <laughs> the problem i have is there's still the rhetoric is still now going on even more in the same party that people complain was doing too much of it yeah um and so let's just all stop it yeah yeah um let's just have a, a, an election and well, we just work off of um, actual uh, n things that are pr a problem. Talk about Let's the talk issues. About, that's the word I was looking about. Yeah. But my wife tells me I, can't, I need to stop saying that word issues because uh, I say it a lot. <laughs> but that's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> They're the issues. Um, and that's what they need to concentrate on. Quit pointing your finger at, you know, my my handicap is this. And, and uh, you know, my handicap is my clubs. Um, the the issues are what's going to push America to, to unite. If we all get kind of behind some of the same issues. You think, well, I think, I think we just go, let's work off the issues and, and, and go off of what has happened and, and just move forward that way. But if, if they can't, if people, one side can't tell say the other person is Hitler and all that, what do they have to stand on? True. That's the problem. So let's just go off the issues. Look at the thing down the road and see how we're doing each each party. See that, what have you done, and let's look at it and see which is better. Yeah, it's not an interesting reel yesterday where a young lady was um, saying, "Boy, I was brainwashed the first time around when Trump was running against Biden, and I believed everything the media told me." And then I've done some some independent research and found out that it's basically a bunch of lies. And then to listen to, I can't remember the interview. I have to find the reel again. There was an interview um, or a segment done by a, a reporter 
on uh, some of the issues, what Trump's really standing for. And she says, I've completely turned, turned around. Here I am, you know, four years ago with my no Trump sign. And here I am now fully supporting Trump. I'm not saying Trump's the best, the best choice in the long run, but the guy gets his, his gets stuff done. Yeah. I mean, that's like JD Vance, who's his vice president pick. He was a never Trumper. I know it. And now he's a full Trumper and, and it's just understand who Trump is and what he does. Just move on from that. I mean, he just sent a check to his, his evil twin, not evil, but Dr. Evil on one of the uh, shows who has a, has a nonprofit that he created um, and what they were doing with all this with deaths for children in certain countries. And he sent him a check for 10 grand, even though the guy talks bad about him. <laughs> well, so his, he talks bad about him, but he believes in what he's doing. Correct. So yeah. he puts his money where his mouth is. Right. And so that's what you just focus on the issues and stop listening to all the stuff out there. Research your own stuff. Don't listen to what people yeah, say. Just don't take it for, for granted on anything, any yeah. of the, even the stuff we say. Yeah. Research it also. There might be a different day. Well, I'm talking about the people who need education. The reason I brought that up, because that would be a great more videos to put out there for people to, to know how to do, how to buy more with down payment, less right. with down payment, where to get the money from. It's much harder here in California because you can't make so much. And the problem is you got to make a lot to buy a house here. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, it's not like Detroit. <laughs> Rock City. Um, no, it's kind of inexpensive there. But you know what? If you're living here in California, why don't you go buy some investment property in Detroit? Mind just buy and move there. It might be a better place for you. It mm -hmm. might have a better, you know, this California is kind of messed up right now. Until we fix it, it needs fixing. Yeah, and that's and not going to happen until 28? I don't know. 27. I have no idea. 26. 26. <laughs> I say 26. 26. Definitely 26. Uh, 12. 12. Definitely 12. What are you doing? You ever watch the movie Rain Man? No, I know. I just saw an email pop up and I told somebody that we didn't need their help anymore. And now they're coming back going, we saw that this happened. Yeah, that's why I said we didn't need your help anymore. <laughs> okay. All right. Make I think we've talked about nothing long enough. Yeah. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Yes, it, it is. is. All right. So we'll have numbers tomorrow, right? Yep, yep, and yep, yep. Um, Wednesday is also going to be housing starts and permits and mortgage applications. So we'll see that those are all stock, you know, much lower. Much, much lower. Yeah. All Which right. we need to get these rates down. Make it a great day. All right. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye.